Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. If you're an old one, welcome back, my lovelies. Nice to see you. Uh, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. Thank you for your donations. They are truly appreciated. And thank you for your emails. Emails of confirmation, emails just sharing your stories and emails booking readings. Now, my readings um, have a 48 to 72 hour turnaround time. However, if you do need something a little bit speedier, I do offer an emergency service that goes out within 12 to 24 hours. With that being said, um, there is someone going through the comment section sporadically here and there, uh, changing up the game. They've gone from being a priest or a pastor to now being someone that um, can make 37000 in one week through cryptocurrency. If you see that, the entire thread is a scam. If you see any messages from me, but there's no highlighted black banner, it's not me that you're talking to. Um, <clears throat> no matter what is said, please just block and report kindly and thank you. Uh, the energy that I pick up on is fluid. It's timeless which just means that i am picking up on past present or future energy or sometimes an amalgamation of all three so you have to take what resonates for you personally um if i say he she masculine or feminine male or female please remember that we all hold these energies so this reading could be for you it could be for the person you're thinking of it could pertain to another light one uh divine counterpart or someone completely different please do not make the story fit if it doesn't if the message in this reading does not resonate please have a look at some of my other readings if none of them resonate either the messages aren't for you at this time or you may benefit from having a personal reading all of my information on that is in the descript description box let's get straight into this okay now i got the energy of this like three like a triangle um like two women and a man and a man okay and one of them has got like light blue eyes or light green eyes someone's got like different colored eyes and someone's either got hazel or brown eyes i know that's really really vague because that could be anyone and also someone with dreads okay now what's come out straight away is spell work didn't work on you and stock check i don't know and this is the thing as well when i was setting up for this reading there's someone out of these three that is literally going through a list of things that they've tried before checking how <clears throat> how well it worked or if it worked and then trying to backtrack and see if they can change certain things okay but also i'm hearing like the money spell someone did some sort of spell that was supposed to bring them abundance by drawing it from yours like specifically done a hex of some sort and and they've been asking for um advice so to speak oh look you've got hold me they've been asking for advice on like social media sites that are for like dark witches and jazz like that because they've ran out of certain resources or things to do this hold me there's definitely a distance between the male in this triangle and one of the the feminine energies tell me some more and you've got dark portal here and you've also got fifth house leo okay the spell didn't work on your fifth house without a doubt because your fifth house is about pleasure intimacy sex but it's also to do with love and to do with chaos to do with conflict and how we navigate that do we react do we respond now this spell not working this was all to do with separation of some sort because you've also got dark portal they may have been trying to open a night a dark portal because you've also got your ninth house coming out ninth house and travel where do you want me to put this one? Here. Ooh. Ninth house and travel. So there's someone here who's obviously had some sort of clarity come to them, has either left it, has left what they're in, or is thinking of doing so, slept with them behind your back. Who is this person? Okay. Anything else that needs to come out that we need to know as the running thing for this reading? Hid up his bum. Ooh, so this is giving me prison vibes. So it's like a prison purse, isn't it? Where they hide things to get them, this, get certain things into prison. How interesting. Now, why did that come out about hidden up his bum? Why did I get that? Awesome, thank you. What wants to come out? Too late. What's too late? Something is too late. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. Now it says your dog is safe and it's upside down. So there may have some plans if you do, if you are a dog owner to harm your dog. But look, it's too late for them to do something. Those cords have been those cords have been dissolved. So they definitely did some sort of spell work, which was supposed to affect 
um, your fifth house, not just to do with romance and drama and things like that, but also to do with those that you protect, that are your loved ones, especially if you have a dog. Well, that's really shitty, isn't it? Oh my goodness. And it's definitely too late to apologize because anyone who would mess around with trying to harm animals is just a vile creature. Let me place that one there. The stock check, something that they were trying to get into order. It's too late for them to now um, organize it. Ninth house, they may be trying to travel towards you or move away from the situation they're in. Something to do with association, okay? The crown was always yours. Whoever this person is, I don't know if this person is sitting in prison thinking about this or just got out. And you've got here toxic feminine energy. All right, so there's definitely a trio that have either disbanded, separated, or they're not seeing eye to eye now, okay? There was definitely, and this is the thing, when I was setting up for this reading, I kept getting this energy of um, this male or one of the feminines kind of coercing them or manipulating them into thinking that you were a stripper. And there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you do as, a, as your job, that's your job, you know. But this person, because look, you've got strip club. And what was underneath that wanted to hide? Oshun is blessing the light one. Karma is coming. The karma coming is monumental. So there's been a lot of lies happening, okay? And look at this. When I look at Hold Me, Ninth House Travel, the courts have been dissolved, stripper and strip club. There's something here with this masculine saying that he met you in a strip club or he's seen you in a strip club doing certain things. There may have been some sort of binding spell they try to do to change um, how you perceive life or where you wish to get your money from. And because of they, them doing this, it didn't work either. Um, karma, the karma for them is monumental, especially for the toxic feminine energy here. And you've got a shun is blessing the light one and getting married soon. So one of the blessings for someone here is um, an actual union, getting married. Now, let's see. Anything else that wants to come from these decks this way? Okay, so let's have a look. Anything else that would like to come out? Please and thank you. Tell me more about this situation. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Tell me more. I don't know. You've got dark portal here. Who's who's stuck in a dark portal? I heard there may be a portal in your home that you need to clear. I don't know how to express myself. Someone here is saying that you have deep, like, childhood wounds and that um, instead of healing them, that you strip, okay? Which is really childish because at the end of the day, no matter what job you have, and you've got costume party upside down, they're more or less saying that this is serious. This isn't like, you know, um, someone was linking a memory of a fancy dress from years and years and years back. Maybe we're in adolescence where you went dressed slightly revealing or there's something about what you were wearing and them going, you know, saying to someone, do you remember blah, 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 blah. They weren't dressed like that as, it, as if it was a costume. That's actually how they dress, okay? And then you've got over here, and slept with, with them behind your back and ninth house travel. So this person's going on like, you know, um, booty calls and things like that. Why is that important? Why is that important? Why is that important? Let me have a look. Change the words in your evocations, they know. So you're being asked at this time, especially if you are planning a union, whether that be business or actual marriage, or whether, you know, what that is for you, you're being told to change what it is that you say to send stuff back. And it says, prepare for battle. And car crash, someone's going to end up in a car crash and you've got heart wound here. So yeah, I don't know how to express myself. And then heart wound. You've also got car crash coming in here and the karma coming is monumental. For those, this, especially for this toxic feminine energy who has been having this booty call with, I don't know if this is an ex or is this, this is someone who wants to be, wants to be someone who's been from your past so that they can get into your energy again. Let me see. Anything else that wants to come out from here? Used to call me on my cell phone. And they've got Aquarius coming out. So this is a friend. This is a friend or a family friend. Red Rum, Dr. Sleep. And this, Dr. Sleep, is the, sec is the sequel to um, The Shining. 
and in it like i don't want to give too much away but it's more or less the kid out of the shining him all grown up and stuff and him being able to kind of astral travel and connect to this child who has the same um qualities that he does she's seen as a light one and that there are these vampires that want to they more or less um unalive children and like drink in their energy so this person's been messed up with some really silly things and you've got bad breath coming out like yeah you've got bad breath who is this is this the masculine and i heard yes and then you have light a candle no matter how small every night because someone here needs to change what they're saying because you've got an aquarius or someone trying to affect your 11th house somebody who is a friend or a family member um who is i don't know if this is as growing up they were seen more of a friend than they were seen as a family member okay or you hung around with and oh I, I don't know why i didn't show that one messy breakup you may have hung your friends may have hung around with them as well if that makes sense okay anything else that needs to come out this summer and it's upside down so they did something this summer okay manifest with the moon they may have been working with moon magic beauty it was to affect the way that you looked or how people see you which comes back to your fifth house because fifth house is about beauty as well um but i want to know more about this karma that's been coming towards them for what and what was put up someone's bum that's so random sorry for the random messages i haven't used these cards in a while dream state bubble of protection so your dream state is protected, even though with red rum, it's about, you know, invading other people's dream state and their minds, okay? But you have an energy around you that's like hands a hand, and it says on here, healing past wounds, skin health, heart, heart chakra, endocrine system, health spells, sixth house ruler, Virgo, taking back stolen energy. Whoever it is that has been doing their revocations, keep it up, okay? But change it up as well. Now, do you want me to take this one? Yes or no? Now, it says on here, county, county court clerk took a bribe to hide your paperwork. So they're involved. They're all involved. Left-hand path witch. Anything else that would like to come out on this? Anything else that would like to come out on this? So, yeah, now you've got a masculine here who's on a crossroads. They don't know how to come towards you because they kind of want you to be um, a booty call for them. But I heard it's much more than that. You've got a secret deal with a gang boss. Everything's going tits up, in other words. This person may have a beard. I am getting this person could have dreads or they are associated with someone who has dreads. Murder on the Orient, Orient Express. So, so far we've had two films come up talking about um, unaliving. So they have, this, this masculine has like deep connections that they're trying to keep quiet to some sort of organized crime. And it says, are you scared now? So they tried doing something with a spell that didn't work. And this feminine over here, this, this toxic feminine energy is extremely frightened that it didn't work. And it says, learned you had no involvement in all of this. So, ah, so this feminine energy has lied to this masculine about you doing something. And obviously this person either is, was enamored with you in some way or was connected to you in some way. But they've learned that whatever the lies are that have been said, weren't true and this is why this person is scared this person is frightened now okay because whatever abundance spell they did actually brought them in more more poverty and you've got music industry upside down and then you have lengthy jail time so they did something there was something about evading taxes or money laundering now what was put up at the bottom let's find out well it says a new friendship i really don't know what to make of that let me see dream journal and then you have here capers i don't think they've put capers up their bum but it does say here romance fertility and abundance and then you have dream journal so this person may have been noting down instructions that they were giving to someone else in astral form and you've got hibiscus as well and hibiscus on the back says freedom harmony relaxation independence passion romance sexual desire swift assistance and activation so there was something that they were trying to do to reach out to you okay and i don't know what it is they put up their rear end but it was obviously to do some sort of spell or binding thing while they were in prison and oh my gosh you used to you used to call me on yourself you used to call me on yourself phone. they put a phone up their bum 
they put a phone up their behind which is quite quite common practice isn't it and you've got i'm dying and two or more parties are working for your downfall your downfall downfall okay this person may come towards you they're going to try and get in contact and say that they are you know then they may be you know they may actually be um slowly un unaliving they may be extremely sick okay because of all these booty calls that they've been going on and mixing all of their energy and getting you know sexually transmitted dis um, diseases and demons okay but this person especially with invest in that idea that project yourself if you want to grow invest this person will definitely come forward with some sort of um you know the smallest violin you've ever seen um because they've the karma is coming back on them it's already come back on them and look begging they're going to beg you for something beg you for forgiveness beg you for something okay but i want to know more about why they needed that phone now they, that you've got 2012 here something may have gone down in 2012 you may have broken up with someone in 2012 and it says check your bank statements one to ten years back because there's something that they've been doing okay and they've been using your name messing up your credit without you knowing now that will only be for certain people so please don't put in the comments mine is absolutely fine because you have to remember this is not a private reading so some people will resonate and some won't but they've definitely been doing something illegal especially with that you know secret deal with the gang boss that might be why they put the phone up their bottom i want to stop saying up their bottom because it's weirding me out a bit okay and yeah look they're worried as f but it's upside it was upside down because whoever this person is is trying to i heard they've got the sweat on there's something here about them not wanting to, sh to lose face, especially if they're still in prison. And I heard that was a long time ago. Now, what else wants to come out? These are really big and really fiddly to actually shuffle. What else would like to come out? Let's see, what fell out? <clears throat> Toxic Flame wants, wants to propose to you. Okay. And we have, it's come out again. County Court Clerk took a bribe to hide your paperwork. And on the back, I didn't even see what this said. Older woman knows this clerk. Her sister, and it says sister in like little marks, like I can't remember what they're called, bribed her with a large amount of money to hold up, hide, or delay processing paperwork that would release a large, 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 life-changing amount of money that is rightfully yours. All involved are being tracked by the FBI and CIA. Well, that is a mouthful, isn't it? okay this is the reason this person wants to come forward and propose to you and you've got prescription here so they may have taken prescriptions drugs in with them as well okay but you've got social media in reverse so this person is social media stalking you and you've got satanic cult underneath so there's a lot of different energies coming out here today and it says settling outside of court so there's there's someone here who's going to want to settle outside of court um, I just heard someone's ancestor say, take them to the cleaners. Take them to the cleaners. They were just like, absolutely not. Take them for everything. Wow. Okay, anything else that wants to come out before a go? Let me have a look. Anything else? Please and thank you. And you've got endings upside down. So this may be someone that you already know, or this is someone that you've cut out of your energy that wants to get back into it. Fake accounts with links to malware and sites and viruses. So this is like a really organized, constructed, constructed kind of coven or group that are trying all angles, okay? Now you've got on here Aventurine and it was upside down. Maybe you need some. And no, I heard if you've got some in the house, get it out of the house. And I don't mean if you've gone out and you've bought a massive figurine that cost you loads of money to throw it out of the window. I mean, if you've been given a trinket or you've bought a trinket or a key ring or a new necklace and it cost you a couple of dollars or a couple of quid. And there was just something a little bit off with the colour or with the shape or with the vibe of it. You're being asked to get rid of that. Okay, not something that's cost you loads and loads of money. Now look, you've got death spell upside down. So they were definitely trying to bring an ending in for you and it didn't work. It literally did not work. And I think this is the reason they are so shocked. Like shocked, like how come this didn't work? It's worked in the past. It's worked to other people. Why did this, it just, it wasn't even that it went out and then your guides or you returned to sender. It just didn't work. It didn't work. 
either the flame went out, something cracked that shouldn't have cracked, smoke came out that's, that wasn't supposed to come out, and they can't believe it. They can't believe it because it's not just that your energy is too strong for them, they're now realize, realizing their energy is too weak for anything. Okay, you've got lack of motivation, lack of ambition. They try to block your sacral chakra at some point or someone's sacral chakra and there's been a massive kickback because of this. Let me take this one underneath. So let's have a look. Let's see if I can get all of these cards. Come hither. And you've got here, rising sign in Scorpio, powerful, determined and intriguing. So this is somebody who is used to the occult or working with the occult. And you've got looking at where the planet Mercury um, in your looking at the planet Mercury in your chart will help you understand your communication style and how you process and absorb information. So there's somebody here who is in deep contemplation, okay, about things that they kind of not only they believed about you, especially with it being underneath there, saying um, you know you don't know how to express yourself. And that's giving me Scorpio 8th house energy as well, but it's not just that. It's this, that you have someone in the background who's trying to figure out how is it that they sent this in? Because the thing is, it's more a spell. It's a manifestation of energy. It's information. It's just energy in its rawest form. They want to understand or figure out how is it that that information, that manifested energy, whatever it is, you know, in its rawest form, why didn't it go out to you? Why was it not even sent out? Why was it just stuck right where it was? They don't understand because you've got Virgo here. There was something that they wanted to do to your health as well. And they're fully aware of those that you love that are connected to you from your heart. Um, if something happens to them, it affects our health. It affects our mental health, but it also weakens our bodies. Because think of the last time you lost someone or you lost a loved one. It doesn't, you know, the news of losing someone doesn't only, you know, bring on grief and sorrow, but it weakens your body. And this is what they were trying to do. And they didn't realise that it would go back on them. Because I keep hearing a death in the family. There may have been a death in the family for them. Okay. Endings all around. Endings all around. And you've got here... Rising sign in Capricorn, competent, serious, and image conscious. Something happened to their business or the career that they're in. Because I heard disorderly conduct, disorderly conduct. And it says here again, Mercury coming out again. Someone is properly trying to figure out how do you get your downloads? How is it that you're one step ahead? How is it that no matter what they send, you are still getting customers or clients or you're still getting your creative downloads? How is it that you're able to do so? And I just heard because you're a high priest, baby. Okay, high priest or high priestess. And then and I heard you mess, they mess with the wrong one. And it's because you have such a strong faith. You have such a strong faith. That's what cut some sort of cord that this masculine was trying to connect to you also, to have it so that you felt drawn towards them. Mm. Anything else that would like to come out? Tell me more about this cell phone. Okay, so the cell phone was brought in by a family member or by a feminine energy because you've got cancer there. And then you've also got here Aries. Those born under the sign of Aries are affectionate, warm and usually big personalities. They can also be competitive, demanding and headstrong. So whoever it was, was kind of being very pushy with, no, you need to do this. You need to bring this in. If you really love me, you'll do this, this and this. I need this to be able to do A, B and C. I thought you wanted to be useful. I thought you wanted to do that. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought you wanted to do this, this and this with me. You have to be my outside eyes. I need this phone. I need this, this and this. But I need you to get a specific type of phone. And let's have a look. You've also got here your art. Um, our rising sign is called the Ascendant. It shows an individual's first reaction to new people and situations and is the mask you wear to meet the world. So there was issues happening within this relationship between whoever this masculine is from your past or that you don't know and from this toxic feminine, okay? Now, this toxic feminine could be from your family. 
but you've got to remember the sense of family can either be blood related or the family that we create ourselves you've also got sagittarius in here so there, there's that third energy there's definitely a sagittarius somebody who may have been the one who drove or had the wheels because i keep thinking of travel and you've also got the placement of neptune in your chart explains your psychic intuition and how you dream so i want to put this over here there's a lot of conversation between two feminine energies that maybe um they're either related to each other or they class themselves as sisters and they they're sitting down trying to work out how is it that you're still able to get your downloads how is it that you've been able to block what was been sent this abundance spell didn't work and instead it's actually made you more prosperous okay and here you've got aquarius so this is again this is a friendship circle these are people that you may know you may not know them it could be for example um a sister or an auntie or it could be someone that you made friends with online a really long time ago chatted for a while and then never spoke to again and i heard yes for someone here but this there's somebody here who is really pissed because you've got leo coming out again and it says leos are often bold characters who enjoy being the center of attention they adore entertaining others and are fiercely protective of those they love and then on this side you've got scorpio so there was something that was done to kind of bind these women to this man in some way because so i had sex appeal now i don't know if this person glamours themselves to be you know irresistible for women because if he's got bad breath who wants to go around anyone who's got stinky tongue, you know? You've also got on here, the position of Mars in your chart can show how you express your anger and what gets you fired up. So there was definitely like some sort of little meeting and that's why this person needs the phone, but he needs the phone for something else, especially if you're having secret deals with gang bosses and jazz like that. But there was definitely this conversation about um, how can we block communication as well? How can we mess up? communication um, and communication can be anything in your third house from networking to how you upload videos to how you speak to other people or getting misunderstood for example and especially doing it over mercury retrograde was their kind of like cloak of well this person will just think because mercury retrograde's going on um they'll just put it down to that and they won't really they won't really um think that it's anything else and they're flabbergasted that not only did it not work that it also it blew up in their face but if you're doing something like this with the energy of a planet in retrograde then you're going to get the response of that energy from that planet in a retrograde and i'm only really saying like this because these people are fools <laughs> they, are really, they are foolish there you go you've got leo coming out again anything else about this situation tell me about this secret deal with gang boss and you've got on here Capricorn, it was about money, okay, or exchange, exchanging something for money, and there may have been some sort of argument, or whatever the result was, this masculine was really angry by whatever was entailed, or whatever was um, uncovered, or negotiated with this gang boss, okay, as you've also got on here, yeah, Saturn is associated with life lessons and limitations. Its placement can help to pinpoint what you need to learn in order to improve your life. So whatever this was, was a life lesson for this masculine, which is why also when you look over here with this toxic feminine energy, it's underneath, it's more or less talking about her getting the monumental karma. It's not saying that this masculine won't, but she seems to be at like the core or right at the middle of all of this, manipulating everybody else. So this masculine over here is already getting their karma, especially if they had gone back into prison. I heard back into prison rather than the first time. And then you have Virgo. A Virgo and a life lesson. This person may have been a life lesson for you. You may have had to um, look back at past relationships and kind of organize the ones that were beneficial and the ones that really through the spanner into how you healed but they, they were all life lessons and this person may be from a karmic cycle that was a life lesson okay so if this person's coming back and they want to marry you know that they were a life lesson and let that lesson be learned and do not go back into that okay and i had god willing um rising sign in libra attractive easygoing and gentle this person especially yeah there's something going on with this toxic feminine feminine excuse me to do with the court systems especially if someone was bri bribed that may be coming back to kick them in the face now okay mm, interesting 
let's have a look let me get you over here because i had ripe for the picking what does that mean you've got three of pentacles to the star so there they there you go you've got three people working together there was something here about being fame hungry or career or money hungry what's that got to do because you've got the devil so someone's walked away from a deal it might be this gangbusters walked away from a deal because it's too risky yeah because the sun's shining on all their actions and they they want to get out of whatever it is that's making them uncomfortable so they've more or less said well, i'm not working with you anymore and this masculine is vex because there's something that they have to move or something they have to get rid of because it's evidence and whoever this gang boss was was obviously their connection to get rid of whatever they have and you've also got on here, Queen of Wands. So I'm going to say the evidence towards something. Evidence towards what, though? Because Queen of Wands is about forging forward, but connecting to that divine feminine energy that we have that brings in ease and grace and flow and the world. Okay. It's something that's fucked up. Oh, excuse my language. Something's effed up for them really, really monumentally. Because it says, light a candle no matter how small every night. This is something about giving gratitude for blessings that are here and the blessings that are about to be here. Okay. Yeah, because look, you've got continued effort. You're being asked to light a candle daily to bring in balance, to keep bringing balance in. Because whoever this is in the background, they're going to keep trying. Even though they're digging their own grave, they're going to keep trying. Tell me more about what it was that this masculine was trying to... Well, it's like I've got a hair on my neck from my head and it's tickling the hell out of me. Tell me more about this masculine. What was it that he was trying to move? Something that was stolen. Because you've got the Six of Pentacles here. Something was stolen. It was your light, but it was more than that. So you've got Ten of Pentacles. Money. There was something that was stolen from a home, okay? So you've got Knight of Swords here. Something that had some sort... Because the thing is, the Knight of Swords is quite an aggressive... A, quite an aggressive card. It's one of the fastest decks in the... The fastest knights in the deck. And it's about communication, clear communication. It can be quite aggressive. With it being this way, there was something that was purposely stolen um, in plain sight, I heard. Something that you should have been given or something that um, set, it was supposed to set you up for some sort of downfall. But no, look, you've got nine of cups to the judgment. Whoever this person is, they stole, because I keep hearing an inheritance. There was paperwork or something along these lines that they stole. It was supposed to go to your home. Or there was something that you were supposed to sign and you've got page of cups, but it never got to you. There was something here with it supposed to being... It was supposed to mature over a certain amount of years and that you would be able to collect it at a certain age because you may have been too young, okay? But so this is giving me... A, I wasn't really that sure of how old these people are, but I'm now getting that this masculine... This masculine may be having a midlife crisis. This person is over 50. They may be over 50. And you've got here three of pentacles to the full. So yeah, there were three people or three energies that were working to stop this beginning coming in for you quite a while ago. And now this is all coming in. The shit is hitting the fan now, in other words. Yeah, look, nine of pentacles. This person's really angry. You've got someone spitting. This toxic feminine here is spitting. That you on easily controlled. They can't control the story or the narrative because you've got the five of pentacles in reverse. You've removed something easily this fifth house spell you've you've removed something easily and it shocked this person it's completely shocked this person because they're seeing the truth of something and not only that it's uncovering deceit it's uncovering this deceit because you've got here look the five of swords they've come to some sort of understanding or some sort of a it's not even an epiphany it's just shocked them that they've realized that they can't get you to take the bait they can't get you to take the bait in any way, shape or form. So no matter what is sent to your home, what is sent to your heart, what is sent to your loved ones, you're not rising to it. You're just going, I'm giving this up to God or I'm giving this up to Allah or I'm giving this up to divine divine source, you know, life source. And to my ancestors, you guys do send it back in any which way you want. And it's got to the point where it's almost like on automatic, like you don't even have to say that anymore. I'm not saying don't, but it's that, that if there's such a fine tuned connection between you or the you know or the person you're thinking of and your highest resonance light team members that when stuff like that is sent they already know what to do they snuffed out the candles before they even got to to light properly because so you've got four of wands here and cancer underneath so this is definitely about your foundations you've got two of cups and then you have the five of wands so someone here was actually arguing 
about um, finances, but not just finances. There may have been a relationship. It may have been your grandparents. It may have been your parents. It may have been, you know, real estate from generations before that was bequeathed and supposed to be given to you at a certain age. And there was a lot of arguments <clears throat> within a family member. It seems to be there's a family member, a family friend, and then a masculine energy here, okay? And the higher offense of the fall. They weren't going to get what they thought they were. There was something here about court papers saying that they either were going to get nothing or they were going to get very, very little. And they didn't like that because you've got the Ten of Wands here in reverse. So they thought they put a blockage in for you because it relieved a burden for them. They owed something. Anything else that wants to come out about this? Please and thank you. Anything else? Please and thank you. You've got here Four of Swords in reverse so they were staying up devising plans staying up late at night when i heard when all the children were sleeping to figure out ways of getting to block you from knowing okay but all they've done it was almost like to highlight something within you that would move you away from wanting that or even knowing about it you've got two of ones here yeah so that you would walk away from anything in that involves that because you've got the seven of swords to the chariot they block the truth for a very very long time and i had so many people involved so many people involved anything else that wants to come out about this the lovers so you definitely have a toxic feminine here in the family okay this could be a matriarch and then a masculine energy who also um was involved in some way maybe sexually or intimately with this family member but you've also got to got to remember it's a slept with them behind your back so this may have been somebody that either was interested in you in that way or that you may have dated okay because i say they're older than 50 but i i, I cannot say that for everyone all right someone i heard the name the numbers 27 for someone here this masculine is 27 but for many they're a lot older and I heard this person has, oh, I heard this person has ancestral in, ancestral kinks or something along those lines. And look, you've got the two of pentacles upside down. Whatever they read in this document or whatever news they were given all this time ago, they were really angry because they didn't think it was fair. Because you've got Libra over here and then you have the two of pentacles. So they decided to kind of change the scales into their favor and there is definitely here with the placement of neptune in your chart explains your psychic intuition and how you dream they blocked something off so that you weren't aware because you would have been you would have been aware sooner if they hadn't have done this and you would have been able to stop them in whatever it was that they did so they trapped they blocked you they purposely blocked you i heard a witch doctor they blocked you Mm. now what's this got to do with this masculine going to prison what's this got to do with the masculine going to prison do you want me to change decks no okay why about the phone up, up the rear seven of pentacles in reverse to the high priestess that's all well, there you go because you've got the seven of pentacles there was something going on with this um this gang boss because I don't know what these conversations were about why they had to block your intuition. Because I heard enlightenment that even from a young age, you may have had the potential or the skill sets were there to be built upon for you to become a high priest or high priestess a lot sooner in your life. And with that seven of pentacles there to the high priestess, they were trying to put some sort of depression, blockage, anxiety, stressor, a constant stressor, stressor in your life or the person you're thinking of so that your third eye would stay closed, okay? So that you wouldn't know about all this money that had been stolen or all this, you know, real estate or inheritance or whatever it is for you and that you would perpetually be in this stance. So they may have placed this toxic feminine energy may have been the one behind this that we're saying we need to place something as a you know a negative bias when it comes to abundance or spirituality or something along those lines so that as you were growing up you wouldn't connect with that you wouldn't heal from that you wouldn't grow from that okay and you've also got here yeah constantly getting you to go outside of your comfort zone because this is the sixth house which is ruled by virgos and virgos in you know by nature are quite um introverted people okay in that they are usually quite private 
they like to analyze things they like organization they like to know what comes next and that's just a stereotype but they've done they've done something when you were younger to make it so that you were constantly having to go outside of your comfort zone stressing you making pushing you into kind of those energies or those environments where you had to um either play carer or had to take care of others or had to be in situations where you were a lot more sociable than you may have wanted to be okay and this was to put a massive block in because you've got the knight of wands coming out okay this was to weaken you as well it's so that you didn't realize what a spiritual beautiful person you, you were and this is what they this is how they felt about it nine of cups like the cat got the cream and underneath there those those blockages those cords have been they've been dissolved and the karma coming towards especially that feminine toxic toxic energy because i'm getting family that this is a family member that the the karma that's coming is monumental monumental okay anything else that would like to come out before i go I'm told to take this one not this one okay, which one this one this one let me go over here let's have a quick look and you've got the explorer of pentacles to the emperor this is telling me there was there's something here with this masculine and how this masculine used his anger to bring in some sort of abundance that was manipulated into thinking that he did something really nasty okay so you've got elder of swords to the child of wands he also whoever this person i'm saying he because it could be a she but this person also was doing spell work okay especially the child of wands in reverse all to do with your your finances okay to make people think that you were a liar you've also got the six of swords and they did this for a very long time they attached things to your third eye it was also to to mess with how you dealt with anger how you um connected to your own emotions to make you feel like it wasn't worth working on yourself and to trap you to trap you in constantly feeling like you, everything was too overwhelming what a bunch of a-holes sorry but not sorry what a bunch of a-holes you've also got on here ten of cups in reverse to the the guardian of cups this person these these three here were just completely and utterly um void of caring they didn't care that this caused a lot of pain for you or you know trials and tribulations in your life but you've got to remember look you've got the ace of cups coming out here and you've got the star everything that you have wished for and you have dreamt of all the things that you're working towards they're coming your cup will run over your cup will run over and you will be recognized for who you are for who you are okay anything else that needs to come out before i go and i heard no that's it so i'm going to leave it there i really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively knew if you are new to my channel and this resonated for you i'd love for you to hit on the like the subscribe and on the notification bell so you can see more of my content um anyone that is a, a returning subscriber thank you so much for being here you make this so worthwhile thank you so much for helping my channel to grow i really really do appreciate you all uh, thank you for your emails and thank you for your comments anyone that feels moved to leave a donation it's never expected but it's always highly and truly appreciated because it means i can put more time love and cards into this channel and anyone looking for a personal reading all of my information is in the description box down below just go to the second paragraph down there's a row of blue arrows pointing upwards i've got two emails there um yeah just send me an email um with that being said i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are in the world and i'll see you in the next reading Bye, guys.